So as part of our LA1 for Focus, uh, we're going to be looking at some of the historical buildings in this area. Now, there are 15 listed buildings in the LA14 area, which is higher than the regional average uh, per hectare. So the first one I to look at today is the Greaves Park Hotel. Many people will recognise it just off the point around about in Lancaster. Now this was built in 1843 in a Jacobean revival style and over the years it's been a house, uh, it's been a, as a villa, it's been a school and obviously now it's a pub and restaurant. So it was built by a gentleman who was the director of the Leeds Railway Company. And as he lived in it for many years, he then decided to become a priest on the Isle of Man and decided to rent it out to some notable tenants. And one of the most notable tenants was Dr. Edward de Vitry, who was one of the founding people of the Royal Albert Hospital, which we'll have a little look at later. He lived there for a number of years and eventually in 1938, it was sold to Lancaster City Council, who temporarily used it for services with the post office. In the 1960s, it was even a loin school for special children who had particular special needs who couldn't integrate with the normal schools in the area. And later on, as we all know it now, it became a beautiful pub, which has just recently changed hands and has been renovated throughout. Definitely a great place to come and enjoy it when the sun's shining like this. So our next historical building, as you all recognise, is part of the White Cross development. Now this used to be the barracks and was built in 1854 as a military armoury and store for the first Royal Lancaster Militia. It's built in a Scottish baronial style and as you can see it looks a little bit different to the other sort of buildings we see in the area. Now it was built following the 1852 Militia Reform Act which meant that our county of Lancashire had to have somewhere secure um, and as a muster point for um, the militia. Um, so this is what it was built for. It actually moved up to Bowron Barracks, which is now the University of Cumbria in 1881. So after it was out of use for a little while, the Story Brothers, as you might recognise from other buildings with the Story name in it, and they bought it and used it for their offices for their White Cross works in the buildings behind this. And finally, in 1983, it was converted into the offices that it's now used for. So our next one is what you'll recognise as the Lancaster Royal Infirmary. Now it's just this part at the end, the, the old part of the building that is a listed building. Now this has its actual origins as a dispensary on Castle Hill way back in 1781 and it was moved to this site uh, and established around about 1896. It actually was bought for just, uh, just under two and a half thousand pounds at the time, this entire site which sounds ridiculous in today's money. It was extended in 1929 and all the development was by the Paley and Austin architects. It's built in a free renaissance style as you can see it's got this very big tower in the middle with some fantastic work on there including the Lancaster coat of arms. It was combined from the dispensary with a fever hospital which was based down on Thurnham Street as well. So it's got a lot of history in it and if you ever have the chance to walk past just look at some of the amazing features that it has. So this one's a bit of an unusual one. As you can see behind me, just hidden behind these trees, there is an old building here. And this is from 1840, where there used to be a Lancaster railway station. This used to be the terminus for the Lancaster to Preston lines. But in 1846, the one we now know at the castle, or just below the castle, opened. And a few years later, this closed as a railway station. Now, there are rumours that you can still see where the platforms would have been inside the building. But unfortunately, we can't get in there now, as it was converted originally into nurses' homes for the hospital. And now it's part of their offices. So, as you can see, we are at Ripley St. Thomas School. Now, there are a few historically listed buildings within this development. Obviously, we've got all the new bits, um, but the lodges, the chapel, which you can see just behind me, and the main original school, which is back further into the site, um, were built in the 1860s, um, and obviously the chapel from 1888. Now, these were built in a Gothic revival style, but originally they were built for Ripley Hospital, which was an orphanage, which then became a school. So the orphanage existed it sort of built around 1856 through to 1864 by a lady called Julia Ripley, hence the name. And it was designed by Edward Paley, one of the uh, famous architects in the area. It originally had around 300 children um, who didn't have fathers in the Lancaster and Liverpool area. And eventually, as time went on and more children got there, it was divided into boys and girls. It has a long history and it's a fantastic school um, in the area and it's obviously developed and expanded over the site and has all sorts of different aspects now but they still hold that history dear to them. So one of what could be argued as one of the most impressive historical buildings just behind me is what we now know as Jamia al Kathur, the Islamic College uh, for Girls. Now this was originally the Royal Albert Hospital and was built in 
1868 through to 1873, designed by Edward Paley. Now, it was originally a mental hospital and was its full name was the Royal Albert Asylum for Idiots and Imbeciles for the Seven Northern Counties, which is a bit of a mouthful. And originally it was just for children who had what was then classed as mental problems and difficulties. In 1913, the Mental Deficiency Act allowed adults to be admitted to that as well. So it ended up with so many people in there and was extended over the years. In 1948, the NHS took over and it became just known as the Royal Albert Hospital. And then by the 1960s, there was over a thousand patients in there. In 1996, it was eventually closed as people went to the other facilities in the area and it was bought and became an Islamic school for girls over the age of 11. That school had over 400 pupils as of 2011. As well as the mental hospital itself, um, there's also the lodge, which was included as part of the historic listing. And further round, there's also the Royal Albert Farms. Uh, and that was used to make money um, as for, for some of the people and to help people get out as part of their recovery. They've now been converted to offices. It's been really interesting having a look at all these different historical buildings as it always is in these different postcode areas. I've always wondered the history of this building. I can actually see this from my Velux window in my top bedroom and it is an amazing structure that has lasted all these years. If you know of any other great buildings in the area, let us know. I'd love to see your pictures or any stories you've got of buildings in the LA14 area. Keep tuned in to the other videos we have coming up on this area focus guide this month.